So in the previous sessions, we basically set up WordPress, we showed you guys how to use the manual silo builder, we showed you how you can bolt on uh, bolt on silo utilizing the menu and the simple silo plugin. And now we're going to show you how to build out your website architecture utilizing the uh, digital marketers toolbox. So what I've done is I clicked on projects, I've selected droneenthusiast.com, we're currently on the website architecture competitive cluster screen which is this button over here. The competitive cluster allows us to analyze the ranked domains that we investigated. The product keyword cluster allows us to actually look at the actual product themes that we've added over there. If we click on clear cache, clear cache basically this refreshes our cache over here. So the first thing we want to do is essentially set a product. So I want to come down to dj.com, I want to set that and then I want to select my product that I've drilled into there. This is going to allow me to get my funnel conversion settings so I can see them. The next thing I want to do is add my silos. So on my market segment template, I've gone and uh, marked out the top level ideas of what people want. So we've got best drones, we've got drones for, we've got for beginners, accessories, compare, skins, lights, backpacks, trackers, top drones, video, photography, surveillance, under 1000 to whatever the number is, brands, toys, racing cars, keywords, and things. I'm going to take these ideas I'm going to interrogate our data that we've collated very, very quickly utilizing Digital Marketers Toolbox and I'm going to map out my silo structure. So for this website, the first thing we want to do is I want to look and add in drones. So I'm going to put this one in here at the start. Now notice what I did there. I selected this keyword and I pressed Add Keyword to Blueprint. That added it as a silo. What we got here is the ability to edit the slug the page title and the H1 for WordPress. We can see the cost per click, the competitive density, so close to one, super hard. As we get lower down to zero, it becomes easier. There's less people competing for that term. The search volume and potential sales it will make. Now I'm using drones as a placeholder, okay? And you'll see why when I start adding my categories. The next thing we got here is rank PPC display and video. This is purely for campaign purposes. So that when we're looking and we're mapping our site, we can say, okay, I want to rank for this keyword. I want to do a paid traffic campaign to this actual keyword. I want to do display. I want to do a video. So when we do our exports on our blueprints, we can essentially see what we're doing where. So to show more data here, and basically we can expand the depth of our search. So you'll notice that when we look at this grid, I've turned it to 500 showing us the top 500 keywords and we can see by search volume and click throughs where the most money runs. So on drones I'm going to basically come in here and I'm going to add DJI Mavic Pro, DJI Spark, the Phantom 3, the Phantom 4, DJI drones, we've got the Mavic yeah, Mavic Pro. So we put Magic, we're going to put in Phantom 4, DJ Osmo, and I'm going to add those. And I think I'm going to do videos on all of these as well. So we're going to go video, 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 and I'm going to add those. Okay, so we can either put these in the root or we can actually stick them in as categories. So under drone, I'm going to just delete these because I just want to show you the functionalities. So you can see how we add any keyword at any place at any point in time and we can do it through the competitive cluster, through the product keyword cluster. We can actually add them as categories. So I'm going to go drone and on the drone, when I'm on a category level, I'm going to select drone and then I'm going to come in over here take it back to 500 and I'm going to do DJI DJI Mavic Pro these are the big keywords the Spark the Mavic Pro the Phantom the Mavic Osmo, the Go, the Phantom, Phantom 3 Standard, have I got Phantom 4 Pro, that's up there, 
and we've got those. So what we can do is we can come in here and when we're looking at our URL, we've got basically the drones over there. Now I'm going to select Add to Keep Blueprint. And what you'll see there is we have drones and there's our branded keywords. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is go back to my silo and I say for kids. And notice that we've only started using the DGI.com keywords. So I'm going to switch this out um, on the competitive screen over here. I'm going to go to Skyboss. I'm going to set the product. And it's going to bring up more keywords. So I'm going to have a drone. Let's, what can we do next? Let's just do best. So best by drones, I'm going to basically chop this back, go best drones, I'm going to add this, and I'm going to hop across to my categories, and I'm going to select my parent keyword. And I'm going to come here and add those best drones for kids. So let's look for kids. Okay, so there's nothing there. I must change the data set. Let's go to uh, drone enthusiast. We look at that data set. Let's refresh this page. Best drones, so I'm going to go for kids. Drones for kids, drones for kids. And I'll select that. And I select games. And notice how I'm cutting out drones out of the URL so it doesn't get over optimized. Select best waterproof drone. Best long range. So it's one, two, three, four, and I'll grab one more and my best spy drone. Okay, so we're going to add those. And remember, we can add any type of thing we want to do over here. So I'm going to say add to blueprint. So let's go to our product keyword level. And select best drones again. I want to get the drone camera. We're going to add that. So best drones for kids, for games, waterproof, long range, spy, camera. And here we can see we've got the basic keywords we're targeting and all the information that's required for that. Okay, so it's as simple as that. 